Back in May 2022, JWST was hit by a micrometeoroid that was bigger and more energetic than we expected any such impacts to be. Now, NASA has revealed that since launch, JWST has been hit by 14 micrometeoroid impacts, but only that one in May was particularly bad. They now have a plan to minimize future impacts, so let's see what's new. These micrometeoroid strikes are expected and unavoidable for space telescopes like JWST, especially since this telescope has such a large and exposed mirror. The telescope was designed to deal with them, despite the fact that inevitably repeated strikes will very slowly degrade the quality of images over the next couple of decades. Micrometeoroids are just dust-sized particles in space, but since there's no air resistance in the vacuum of space, they're almost always moving incredibly fast with nothing to slow them down except big old telescopes. This means that when they hit the mirror, they impart a lot of energy onto it and they can do real damage. JWST has been hit 14 times since it launched and unfolded. That's once or twice a month on average and is pretty much the exact frequency we expected ahead of time. It's always nice to get these small things right. The small optical errors these impacts result in are well within the budget and they can be mitigated by readjusting the mirror segment slightly to refocus the light. The May event, which I covered on the channel at the time, was a bigger micrometeoroid impact and imparted more energy into the mirrors than any models predicted. NASA has been trying to understand it ever since and now has declared it to be an exceptional event, but exceptional in a bad way. It was a rare statistical event, both in terms of energy and hitting a particularly sensitive part of the mirror. Despite this, JWST is still performing twice as good as the requirements for the telescope need. So we can still do all of the incredible science it was designed to do, and that won't change anytime soon to minimize the risk of future impacts. From the next set of observation proposals, JWST will avoid pointing in directions that have more chance of micrometeoroids. It will basically avoid these micrometeoroid hotspots. These so-called micrometeoroid avoidance zones will hopefully protect the mirror from the most damaging head-on impacts, but actually won't stop it observing any objects on the sky. It might just have to reschedule some of them so that it can observe them without pointing in those certain directions. Wait for the telescope to orbit the sun a little bit more though, and those same objects can be safely observed from a different angle without looking through those risky areas. Also, if there are time critical objects that need to be observed quickly, such as certain solar system targets, these will still be done, even if it means looking in one of those avoidance zones. NASA says this change will have a long-term statistical benefit. So all in all, this sounds like good news to me. Let me know what you think of all of this in the comments below. Try and avoid micrometeoroids in your own lives and subscribe if you're new for all the latest JWST news and images, plus videos about loads more space topics. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!